Hey everyone, my name is Marshall Mind. Welcome back to another ranked match. And for today, I am going to try to get a fight with Mursad Bektik. Mursad Bektik in the featherweight division. Now, he has been requested by a very specific subscriber on my channel. He keeps asking me to use Mursad. And um, I don't know, I keep forgetting to use him. And the, one of the main reasons why I'm not very motivated to use Mursad Bektik is because I know how good that guy is in real life. And this game does not do him justice. It really does not do him justice. For one, his footwork. He's not fast enough in this game, and um, his grappling is not as good as it's supposed to be. Now, this is as a this is a guy that I've personally can compare to George St. Pierre. You know, he reminds me of GSP in the sense that he sets up his takedowns very well. You don't know if he's going to strike or you don't know if he's going to go for a takedown. You know, he comes out there, he gives you the impression that he's about to kickbox with you. And then when you start getting settled and you start getting uh, uh, complacent and you start getting used to the kickbox and he takes you down and pounds you out. Um, the last fight he had was, about, was against Lucas Martins. Lucas Martins is a very good Muay Thai kickboxer who does not have bad uh, bad jiu-jitsu, don't get me wrong, and he has faced some pretty good fighters in there. He's been in there with Edson Barbosa, and Mursad Bektik, when he, when he fought him, in the first round, he completely outstruck him, and when Martins thought that, you know, it was, it was about to be a striking match, he took him down, took him down, used some nasty ground and pound, held him down against the cage, opened up a nasty cut on his left eye, and in the second round of the fight, he dropped him with a nasty combination and finished him on the ground. So Mursad Bektik is a very he's a very good fighter. He's not bad at all. But this game really does not do him justice in my opinion. He has some pretty bad stats for the featherweight division, a division that has some killers in there. So if you want to be competitive against a good player, he is not the guy for you to use. But we're going to try to do him justice today because he has been requested and uh, without wasting too much time, I'm going to go right into the fight. And I'll be right back with you guys very soon. All right, and there he is. Look at that. 86, 85 stand up, 85 clinch, 86 ground. He's he's not he's not a good character in the game. He really isn't. His speed is nothing special either in in the featherweight division, you know. It I just I really feel like they didn't do this guy justice at all. And I you know, it's kind of demoralizing trying to use him because you're trying to move the character around. You're trying to get him to do what you know the fighter can do in real life, and he's not responding. So, anyways, let's see. Um, let's see what matchup, which matchup we get. I wonder who we're facing. Um, I don't know if I can fight exactly like he does in real life. I really don't know. My wrestling is not that great. I'm talking about with the character. The character's wrestling is not that good, and he does not have the kind of footwork that I need. So I might play this one a little bit more careful. And we're facing Max Holloway. You know, that is, this is a very bad matchup for me. It really is. He is much taller. He has better striking. Just overall, a much better better fighter for us to be facing right now. But we'll do our very best. Let's see what happens. Alright. Okay. Going for the leg kick. Going for the, I figured he would go for the leg kicks. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, we did not, we're not able to get the takedown. I didn't think I would. And we're up. Oh, okay. There is going to be... I really wish it was a five-round fight. Max Holloway is just... Mm, we got him. Okay. Let's try to hold this. I wasn't able to hold that. Okay. Control. Let's see what he does. Ugh, I wasn't able to block that. Mm. Nice. Joe, not much going on here. They both seem to be either taking a good reverse them. Back side. Let's see what we can do here. Nice right hand. Mm. 
We go to half guard. Okay, side control. Ugh. Good. Figured he was going to go that route. Nope. What do we got? Oh, smart. Full guard. And we're out. Wow. He wants out. He's looking for that magic combo, as usual. We have to be careful. Dropped them. Good. At least I got that drop in the first round. Should not have let his stamina go down that much. All right. Okay. So this is, like I said, you know, it's a bad matchup, but we're doing good. We're doing well. We're finding a little, uh, we're finding a few loopholes in, in his in his style. I know he's looking for the magic combo. I can see it. I cannot push forward too much and let him land that. Okay, we're not able to get that one. We got it. That's no. That's good. Let's get him that way. He took me down. Now what? Okay. Okay, and we're out. Let's see what I can do. I don't, you know, those leg kicks are nasty. Got him. Like I said. Can I do against this dude? Single collar. Tying up in the clinch here. Nice work in the clinch. He lands the knee. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Pull away with the jab. Uh-huh. He's looking for it. Very nice kicks. Both men scoring points here. He's looking for it. Looking for those shots. There it is. He tried to throw it. That's a good kick. Solid leg kick. Precise straight right by Beckett. Again with that straight. Landed a couple. Okay. We're landing some nice shots. Busy here connecting with a lot of punches. Joe, that's another big head kick. His opponent. Move. Oh my goodness, man. Look at he's ending all those combos with head kicks. That tells you exactly. Got him. He's down again. We got to keep taking him down. We got to keep taking him down to the ground. All right.
All right, so I'm having to take him down over and over again because I can't stand with them. I just, I can't deal with the speed. I cannot deal with the leg kicks. I cannot deal with those combinations. They're just, it's too much. He's looking for it. He's looking for it. Good uppercut. Expected with a nice knee to the body. Man, he's really doing some damage with those knees. Good work blocking that. Goes for a single. Good. And he's down. Back side. Control. He's down. Let's hold him down a little bit. Here's a little piece of trivia for folks who might know. The reason why you're not allowed to do a downward elbow, 12 to 6, is because when they first brought mixed martial arts to athletic commissions, the people on the commission said, well, you can't let someone do that. I saw people. All right. And he's down again. In reality, there's really very little difference between a downward elbow or a 45 degree elbow or, or what have you. Let's see what he's going to do. He's trying to fake transitions. In half guard. Top mount. Uh -oh. And he's out. Good jab. That bruise on his outer he's coming. Is really getting nasty. Good leg kick. Down again. And we are grounded. Oh my god. Look at my stamina just popping down, dude. Yep, you got to know what they're trying to do. Uh-huh. Going for the lowest, those leg kicks over and over again. We have to move. Oh, my God. We have to move. Take him down one more time. Take him down one more time. This is his style right here. Good. Okay, round number three is over. We did our very best. Let's see. Wow. And both fighters had their moments of success. They certainly the decision is in. There you go. I lost. Let me see. Yeah. I lost the fight. He landed more significant strikes. I tried. I tried. There you go. There you go. Whoever requested that I use Mursad Bektik, I tried. I tried. I really did. But it's, it's a very bad matchup. I mean, when you look at... um, Let me show you. When you look at who I just faced... Um, let me go fight now. Featherweight division. Man, I'm getting all these goddamn losses, dude. Uh, where is he? Max Holloway. Look at that. Overall 90, stand up 92. Look at all the, look at all the perks he's got, you know, he's got like his, you know, his speed, where is his speed? His stamina way higher than ours. His speed is the big thing. Punch speed 86 compared to I think ours is like like 80 or something like that. His movement is pretty good as well. Overall, he was just a much better matchup. He was taller. So that's why I lost the fight. I did every single thing I could to win it. I'm sorry, whoever it is that requested Mursad. You know, I wasn't able to get a win with him. But, no worries. I'm going to keep trying. And once I get a win with Mursad, I'm going to post it, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed that fight. Even though it ended up being a loss, I will see you guys in the next ranked match. Be safe. 
Thank you for watching.